Rebels in their home red with the white trim, and we're underway here at Starlight Stadium. Kick down to number 10, Hardesty, around his own 10-yard yard line, comes to his right, tries to get around the corner. He's got blockers out front. Look out, big return by Hardesty off the opening kickoff. He's got a couple man to beat, and finally he's got one man left. Finally dragged down after an amazing return. Oh, excuse me, he's right in the end zone for a touchdown. What a start for the West Shore Rebels, because I thought he was going to go down and around, tackled it around the 20-yard line, and Hardesty came came shooting through there and the Rebels take an early 6-0 lead with the extra point coming. And the center wasn't there. Jesse will take over, short step, throws the ball out to his right. Ball is popped out there, picked up by the Huskers and here they go back the other way. Nothing but green grass ahead of the Huskers. And he's getting down to the 20, the 15, the oh, 10. Nice he's finally tackle. dragged down. Nice tackle from behind. I believe that was by number eight, Kieran Passant coming back down the field. To add three points here with seven minutes left in the first quarter. Snap is good, kick is up, kick is good. And that will make the score. The West Shore Rebels seven, the Valley Huskers three. Kick is up and it is good. As that will extend the Rebel lead to 10-3 with 43 seconds and as they will limit this to a field goal opportunity as number 14 Hales kicks it up and it's good. So that will, about a 28 yard field goal for the Rebels. Practice and different things like that. Touchdown on that one. So that'll be a touchdown for the Rebels as they get in there, T. Jesse. What's gonna be? No question, so good opportunity here for Jansen. He's under center, he's gonna Oh, that was his head. Was that Duvall in there? Yeah, that was number Taren two. Duvall, Taren Duvall yes. in for the end zone for a touchdown for the Huskers. Great drive there. Is it now will be 20 to nine with the extra point coming. So exactly what the Huskers needed. Obviously they had to score first coming up. Rollock is there. Once again, he's trying to get out to the right hand side. Does make a couple man miss. Look out, he's in the open field. He's gone, he's got the kicker to beat. That's Rollock. No flags on the play. Rollock's gonna score. That's a touchdown for the Huskers. And folks, we got a ball game in this one as it's now 20 to 16 with the extra point coming. The Huskers do a great job there. Rollick's been close to cracking one all day. It's the situation here. The Leva comes in motion. Jesse's going to throw it in his in Kieran Passant's direction. He's got him. And look out, that's Kieran Passant trying to get down into the end zone. Touchdown, touchdown. Kieran Passant. That is a play that the Rebels desperately needed, and they're one of their main guys on offense. Was able to deliver a touchdown. That will extend their lead now. Still in the game. Huskers coming with the blitz as they throw it in the direction. And that's going to be caught. Be surprised if there might not be a flag there for taunting, and there is. So nice catch there by number three for the Rebels. That was disappointing as they'll celebrate in front of their home fans. But they'll be celebrating in West Shore and hitting the reset button if you're from... Uh, Chilliwack after this one. to the near boundary. Yancy going to roll out to his right, looking downfield, fires on the run, got a man open, and France brings it in. He's to the five, touchdown Langley. And we do have
The Rams will dig in defensively. Here comes the snap. Britton looks over the middle deep. He's got a man wide open in Mike O'Shea, and he'll step into the end zone for a sun touchdown on a blown coverage by the Langley backfield, and that looked like spring training right there for Okanaga. A little pitch and catch between Britton and Shea, O'Shea. And number 10, Carlton Abote for the Langley Rams. The only man anywhere close to O'Shea. Almost wrapped him up short of the end zone as well. But that power of Mike O'Shea able to fight through that tackle and get the Okanagan Suns' first touchdown of this game. So an extra point to come here as O'Shea will be the holder. And that's, you know, kind of the other thing I was thinking about coming into this game, Justin, looking at the stats defensively and I just didn't recall a whole lot of pressure on the West Shore quarterback or sacks. And here comes the play. He'll take the snap. He'll roll out. Now he's got a lane to the goal line, and he'll punch it in. As Britton scores. A little bit, and who can fault him in I know, it kinda looks the like weather a, that they've played through right here? Kind of looks like a West Shore playing for two here after the penalty. As Britton evades a tackle, lobs it up in the end zone. Ton of guy had a chance at it, but it lets it fall through the fingers. And Hey, first place in two weeks, baby. 